Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Santee Circle Community Church. Excited about uh, you being in the right place. Um, I know some of you, I think y'all had mentioned, y'all went over to uh, a Freedom Church and had candlelight, uh, had a special service over there, so y'all were already warmed up and uh, ready to go, but we're so, so glad that y'all took the opportunity to, uh, to gather up here so that we can make the most of Christ um, out ahead of Christmas here. And I always love uh, this service. There's something just uh, special, um, something that's uh, it's different, it's, um, it's quiet, it's, it's serene, it's tranquil. The whole focus this Christmas season for us as a church family has been on us celebrating the Prince of Peace, you know, the one who came and brought peace into the world, the peace that that no one else could establish uh, but him himself. And so we do everything tonight in honor of him, and we're thankful that you were able to, to work this time in, this worship time in. That's exactly what this is. It's a worship service. It's an opportunity for us to uh, make the most of Jesus Christ, the one who absolutely deserves it. And so without further ado, we're going to get started. Thank you. morning. Good evening. (laughs) The candles of the Advent wreath signify that Jesus is the light of the world. The evergreen reminds us that he is life and brings life to us. All these are arranged in a circle because life in Christ has no end. Tonight, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus and rejoice in his coming to us, we light the Christ candle. Jesus Christ is our hope. He is our peace. Jesus Christ is our joy. He is love, pure, holy, undying love. Whoever believes in him will never perish but have eternal life. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, um, I just thank you for bringing us all here together tonight, Lord. Um, I thank you for all these people here who have the heart and desire to be here, Lord. Um, Lord, because this is a special time of year, Lord. Um, Lord, you are a king, Lord, and you humbled yourself, Lord, to come down here to this earth and live a, a perfect life as a sacrifice for us, Lord God, so that we don't have to be separated from you and that we can commune with you, Lord. Um, I just thank you for that, Lord, and um, I just pray that that'll be first and foremost in, on our minds and our hearts uh, this evening and tomorrow and throughout all of this next year, Lord, because um, that's what our life is all about, Lord, is loving you and loving those around us, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Almost 700 years before the birth of Christ, the prophet Isaiah wrote, Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Holy night, the stars are bright. 
the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, greeting to you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Emmanuel 
shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, desire of nations by all people in one heart and mind. Bid envy, strife, and quarrel cease. Fill all the world with heaven's peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, 
and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God in sin is reconciled All the nations rise Join the triumph of the skies with angelicals proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem Heart the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Hail the herald Prince of Peace Hail the Son of Righteousness Light and light to all he brings, risen with healings in his wings. And mild he lays his glory by, born that man no more may die, born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. sing glory to the newborn King. King of heaven, come down. King of heaven, come now. Let your glory reign, shining like the day. King of heaven, come. King of heaven, rise. Who can stand against us? You are strong to say in your mighty name, King of heaven, come. King of heaven, come down. King of heaven, come now. Let your glory reign, shining like the day. King of heaven, come. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. King, the world 
in song and stillness lay to hear the angels sing. Days are hastening on by prophet seed of old, and with the ever circling years shall come the time of hell, when the new heaven and earth shall own the Prince of Peace and King, and the whole world will send back. The song which now the angels sing. Hallelujah! Christ the Savior is born. Hallelujah! Christ the Savior is born. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
and having been warned in a dream not to go back to King Herod, the Magi returned to their country by another route. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. And the angels returned to heaven. And many years later, Mary and Joseph, being flesh and bone, came to the end of their earthly lives. But the light that began in Bethlehem was life, and this life was the light of all humanity. The light still shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out, and it all began on a silent, holy night long ago. Would you all stand with us as we sing this? our candles as we sing this last song verse the light of the world silent night holy night wondrous star when I lie with the angels let us 
But uh, just uh, so thankful uh, for everyone that put the time and the effort into celebrating Christ's birth and His coming uh, in a special way like this. I want us to be reminded uh, as we leave this place, as we go, and as we celebrate Christmas tomorrow that, you know, the presents are good, and even the family gathering the time together is good, but we need to be reminded that ultimately what tomorrow is all about, the 25th of December, we don't know exactly what day Jesus was born, but this is the day that we as Christians celebrate Christ, our coming um, King who came back that first time and we're still looking for Him to come back that second time. So in the meantime, let's all be Jesus, the light of the world, um, to everyone around us that we meet. Um, I'm so thankful that you came out tonight. Um, may you be um, blessed this Christmas season and this Christmas tomorrow, and may you have a safe travel, a safe trip home tonight and a gathering with your families. Lord, just remember how special and how blessed we are to have Christ as our Lord and as our Savior. You can blow out your candles, and if you would, put those in the buckets on the way out. Um, drive safely heading home. Enjoy your evening. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.